Shabbat Shalom, family, Messiah Yeshua. Shabbat Shalom to the worldwide YouTube and social media community. This is your beloved brother, Shaul Yisrael, coming back again with another Yahweh-inspired message. I'll be reading from the book of Hebrews. Hebrew <clears throat> for the book of Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 16 <clears throat> Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 16 again Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 16 and I read let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of favor that you may obtain mercy and find favor to help in time of need we go to James chapter in verse 16 James chapter 5 verse 16 I read confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that you may be healed the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much Elias was a man subject to like passion as we are. And he prayed earnestly that it might not rain. And it rained not on the arrest by the space of three years and six months. And he prayed again. And the Shamaim gave rain. And the rest brought forth her fruit. I read that to say this. I read that to say this. We, we who are in Messiah Yeshua. What I mean, those who are in Messiah Yeshua, those who have been reconciled unto Yahweh through the new birth. What is the new birth? The new birth is repentance and water baptism in the blessed name of Yeshua HaMashiach for the pardon of sin and the regeneration of one's soul and one had received the blessed baptism of the Holy Ghost as initially evident by speaking in the tongue as Yahweh permits one to speak. Those who have obeyed Acts 38 have taken on the renewed man, or rather has become the renewed man. They're what it means to take on Christ Jesus. When you're born again, you take on the nature and spirit of Christ Jesus. And in the renewed man, you have access to Abba Yahweh wherein you're able to present your prayers, your supplications your intercessions boldly and persistently and fervently unto Yahweh with a guaranteed expectation that Yahweh will receive your prayer because you have approached him in the name of the one who reconciles us to Yahweh. So family, in these hard times, let's pray without ceasing on behalf of self and on behalf of the worldwide assembly of Abba Yahweh. Because Abba Yahweh delight, delights to hear from his children, from his sons and daughters, those who have chosen to divest themselves of their will and to surrender themselves unto the will of Abba Yahweh. So he desired to hear from you that he may supply you with strength and the renewing of his presence or even the infilling of his presence that you may be able to endure, overcome, and thrive in the midst of trial, tribulation, and persecution. For Abba Yahweh is our source.
For the cause we must pray without ceasing. We not, must not neglect prayer. And as I said, for prayer is simply communication with Yahweh. And it's written in the scriptures that we are to present our prayers in the name of Yahweh's Son. Why? Because Yahweh's Son is appointed of Yahweh to give us access to Yahweh. Yahweh is the one that will hear our prayers. But in order for our, our prayers to be made acceptable and to be accessed of Yahweh, our prayers must be presented in the name of the one who was offered to pay the penalty for the wages of sin, which is Christ Jesus. For the call, when we present our prayers to Yahweh, we present them in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach or Jesus Christ. That's why Yeshua said, if you believe in Yahweh, believe also in me. In which is, you acknowledge that he is the one who gives you access to Yahweh. Because of his death on the cross. Because of Yahweh raised him from the dead and caused him to ascend up and above all Shamaim. His death paid the penalty for the sins of man. And his life bears record and testimony that we now have access to Yahweh. So let us boldly, without fear, without doubting, humbly and persistently and with that guaranteed expectation that Yahweh will hear you. Particularly those who haven't received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. I've always said that he will give his Holy Spirit to those who obey him. And Yeshua instructed us to tarry until you are being due with power from on high. So to receive the Holy Spirit baptism, you must labor patiently and fervently and expectantly in prayer, calling on the name of Jesus Christ for Yahweh to fill you with the Spirit and He will fill you if you approach Him boldly and with an open and submitted heart unto Yahweh. And you will know that Yahweh has filled you with His our Spirit when you hear Him speak in another tongue and Yahweh permits one to speak. For speaking in another tongue is the initial and external proof that one has received the Holy Spirit baptism. So, to know that you have received the Holy Spirit baptism You must experience receiving the Holy Spirit baptism as initially proven by speaking in another tongue as Yahweh permits you to speak. This is the initial and external proof that one had received the Holy Spirit baptism. In order to receive the Holy Spirit baptism, you must approach Yahweh in prayer. In the name of his beloved son, Yeshua HaMashiach. Because it's written, whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Giving praise unto Abba Yahweh through him. For the name of Jesus Christ has been appointed of Yahweh. And invested of Yahweh with the power and authority to reconcile us to Yahweh. That is to give us access to Yahweh. That's why you must present your prayers to Yahweh. In the name of Yahweh's son Yeshua HaMashiach. And you must present your prayers in faith. 
For the scripture says, he that comes to Yahweh must first believe that he exists and is a reward of them that diligently seek him. It is written in Mark 16. In Mark chapter 16. And verse 17. And these signs shall follow them. And these signs shall follow them that believe on Yeshua HaMashiach. And these signs shall follow them that believe on Jesus the Messiah. And these signs are fallen that believe on Jesus Christ. Why? Because the name of Jesus Christ is invested of Yahweh with his power and authority of reconciliation back unto himself. The name of Jesus Christ will bring us back into alignment and oneness with Yahweh. Because Jesus the Christ, he purchased redemption for us. He purchased access for us by his death. By him giving his life on the cross. He satisfied the penalty for the wages of sin. And in that Yahweh raised him from the dead. His life bears record. That we now have access to Yahweh. So we now can, can can approach Yahweh without fear, boldly, humbly, and persistently, and with expectation that Yahweh will hear us. Because we approach Yahweh in the name of His beloved Son, Jesus the Christ. The book said, "And these signs shall follow them that believe in My name; shall they cast out devils." They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. See, a new tongue is an other tongue. And other tongue is an unknown tongue. As it's written in 1 Corinthians chapter 14. <clears throat> 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 1. Follow after love and desire spiritual gifts, but rather that you may prophesy. For he that speaks in an unknown tongue speaks not unto men, but unto Yahweh. For no one understands him, how be in the spirit he speaks mysteries. You see, speaking in another tongue or speaking in another language not under your own understanding or ability but speaking in another language is as Yahweh enables your tongue and moves your tongue to speak this is the initial this is the singular proof that one had received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. In order for one to be born again, for according to John 3, 3, the new birth consists of the water and the spirit. We are baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. You receive part of the new birth. But the completion of the new birth is when you receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And according to the scripture, the baptism of the Holy Spirit is evident. It is it, it, singular proven by speaking in another language. And Yahweh permits one to speak. But the language that you will speak after the Holy Ghost has come upon you and within you. It's not under your own power or your own ability, but as Yahweh enables your tongue to speak. But to receive the Holy Spirit baptism, you must approach Yahweh in faith. 
you must approach Yahweh with that guaranteed assurance and confidence and expectation that Yahweh is a mighty one of his word that what he has promised so shall he shall fulfill in your life and in approaching Yahweh with that discernment you yield yourself in that prayer patiently attending unto Yahweh in that prayer and when your prayer is validated he'll come upon you with himself and he'll utter out of you a language that is different from your na native language that is unknown to your ears because you don't have the ability to interpret and it is new to your ears because you've never spoken it fluently before you must receive the Holy Ghost baptism. For without the baptism of the Holy Ghost, you are unable, you are not capable of living a set apart life. You are unable, you are incapable of living according to every word of Yahweh. You must receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. In order to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost, you must seek Yahweh in prayer. In the name of Yahweh's Son, that is Jesus Christ. Because in order for your prayers to be received by Yahweh, it must be presented in the name of the one who gave us access to Yahweh. That is Yeshua HaMashiach. You need the Holy Ghost baptism. For it is written in Acts chapter 1. In verse 8. But you shall receive power. But you shall receive power. When the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And you shall be witnesses unto me. Both in Jerusalem. And in all Judea. And in Samaria. And unto the other parts of the, of the arrests. When the Holy Ghost has come upon you and has come in you, the Holy Ghost is Yahweh. The Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, the Ruach Kakodesh is Abba Yahweh himself. When Yahweh has come upon you and within you, he will move your tongue. He will move your tongue to speak in a language. He will move your tongue to speak in a language that is both distinct or different from your native language. And it is new to your ears because you've never spoken to fluently before. And it's unknown to your ears because you have the ability to interpret. This is the initial. This is the singular sign that one has received the Holy Ghost baptism. If you have claimed you have received the Holy Ghost, but you have not experienced receiving the Holy Ghost as initially evident by speaking in another tongue, as Yahweh permits one to speak, you have lied on Yahweh and you have blasphemed. For everyone who have received the baptism of the Holy Spirit have likewise spoken in another tongue as Yahweh permits one to speak. This is the doctrine of Yahweh. Everyone, every soul who have received the baptism of the Holy Ghost has likewise spake in another tongue, another language. And Yahweh gave them the unction, the ability, and the direction to speak. This is the, the singular sign that must be evidenced in one who has received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. In order to receive power to be able to be a witness of Abba Yahweh. In order to receive power to be a witness of our fellow brothers, brethren, the prophets and the apostles and our king. Yeshua of Nazareth, you must receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. 
In order to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost, you must receive the Holy Ghost. You must seek Yahweh by prayer, supplication, and intercession. You need the Holy Ghost. And Abba Yahweh will only fill, you with the, fill those with the Holy Ghost who approach Him in faith. As is written, He that comes to Yahweh must first believe that He exists and is a reward of them that diligently seek Him. In order to receive the Holy Ghost baptism, you must approach Yahweh in faith in unfeigned, pure, and perfect faith. When you acknowledge that Yahweh exists and that every word he speaks is faithful and true, you need the Holy Ghost. You need to receive that blessed baptism of Yahweh upon you and in you that you may be enabled to live a set apart life. If you have not received the Holy Ghost as it is written because in order for your life to be justified before Yahweh your life must be in according with what is written. That means you must be able to search the scriptures to find your conversion in the scripture. And if you can't find the manner of your conversion in the scripture, that is, you have repented and was baptized in the blessed name of Jesus Christ for the pardon of sin and the regeneration of your soul, and you have received that blessed baptism of the Holy Ghost as initially evident by speaking in another tongue, and Yahweh permits one to speak, you're not converted, you're not born again, and you're not serving Yahweh. Many of you in the Israelite community, you have not been converted. You don't know Yahweh, and you're not serving Him. Therefore, you're presently serving Satan, our adversary. And you're walking through that wide gate and on that broad road that leads to destruction. Your method of conversion, your manner of conversion must be written in the scripture. For the book says we have the same spirit of faith according to what's written. So in order to be justified before Yahweh, your life must be certified. It must be authenticated. It must be authorized by the set apart scripture. Let me say that again. In order for your life to be justified, certified, authorized, and authenticated by Yahweh, it must be in harmony, must be in alignment, and in oneness with the set apart scripture. Your method of conversion, it must be found in the scripture. If you were, if you claim to be born again, but yet you have not been baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ for the pardon of sin and for the regeneration of your soul, and you have not received the Holy Ghost baptism as initially evident by speaking in a tongue, as Yahweh permits one to speak, <laughs> you're not converted. Your conversion must be certified by the scripture. This is what the scripture says. You deny it, then you are the devil. If your conversion was not certified by the scripture, then you are the devil, sir. Madam, you are the devil. Because as a preacher of righteousness, I believe every word of Yahweh. I don't accept nothing unless it is in accordance with what is written in the set-apart scripture. The book says, Whatsoever things were written aforetime, were written for our learning, that we through patience and the comfort of the scriptures may have hope. The book says, We have the same spirit of faith. You must possess the same spirit of faith. That is in agreement with what's written in the scripture. Why? Because faith is an offspring of Yahweh. 
for it calls your faith. It must be in agreement, in alignment, in harmony with the scriptures, with the word of Yahweh. And this is how your prayer will become effective if your prayer, if your communication with Yahweh is in agreement with the scripture. Meaning you're not only presenting your petition to Yahweh, but you possess an understanding, a discernment of the scripture. You must believe what's written in the scripture. That means you will comply with what's written in the scripture. You must receive that baptism of the Holy Ghost. Those who haven't received the Holy Ghost baptism, you are not in fellowship with Yahweh. If you have not received the Holy Ghost baptism, you're not one with Yahweh. If you have not received the Holy Ghost baptism, you are not in alignment with Yahweh. If you have not received the Holy Ghost baptism, you have not power to live set apart. And there's only one initial, there's only one singular sign that proves that one had received the Holy Ghost baptism and that is speaking in another tongue as Yahweh permits one to speak. This is what the book says. Those who deny it, those who reject it, those who fight against it, they are children of Satan. And they're not serving Yahweh. Any teacher, any moray, any preacher that tells you that speaking in another tongue is not the initial and stern proof that one has received the Holy Ghost baptism is a damn liar. Every teacher, every preacher, every moray, Every menace that tell you that speaking in another tongue as Yahweh permits one to speak is not the initial and stern proof that one has received the Holy Ghost baptism. They are a damn liar and they are causing you to be lost and to end up in that lake of fire. Because in order to make the first resurrection, you must receive that set apart spirit. You must receive the blessed baptism of the Holy Ghost. For according to Revelation chapter 20, Blessed and set apart is he that had part in the first resurrection. In order to be among the set apart or the holy, you must be endowed with the Holy Ghost. In order to be in fellowship with Yahweh, you must be endowed with the Holy Ghost. In order to be one with Yahweh, you must be endowed with the Holy Ghost. In order to have your heart circumcised, you must be endowed with the Holy Ghost. And there is only one initial and external proof that one had received the Holy Ghost baptism. And that is speaking in another tongue as Yahweh permits one to speak. So examine yourself by the book, family of Yahweh and Torah Center community. Hebrew Yusuf like community. Examine yourself with the word of Yahweh. Yeah, you need to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Uh, forget about trying to teach. <coughs> forget about trying to teach and preach the word of Yahweh. You need to sit down. Seek Yahweh for the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Because without the baptism of the Holy Ghost. You're not fit to preach and teach the word of Yahweh. You have not received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. You're not fit to preach and teach the word of Yahweh. And if you're up preaching and teaching the word of Yahweh. You are causing others to be led astray. So brothers, you need to sit down and shut up and seek Yahweh for the baptism of the Holy Ghost. I'm talking to every Israelite camp, assembly, and group. You need to sit down and shut up. For if you don't take heed to this warning, no surety, your soul is going to be damned. For in order to be qualified to preach and teach the word of Yahweh, you must be born again. In order to be qualified, in order to be certified, in order to be authenticated to preach and teach the word of Yahweh, you must be born again. And there's only one way to be born again, and that is according to Acts 2.38. 2, 
You must repent of your sins. You must be baptized in that blessed name of Jesus Christ for the pardon of your sins and the regeneration of your soul. And you must receive that blessed baptism of the Holy Ghost as initially evident by speaking in the tongue as Yahweh permits one to speak. In order to receive that blessed baptism of the Holy Ghost, you must approach Yahweh in prayer. But you must present your prayer in the name of Yahweh's Son. It's written in 1 John. First John chapter. First John chapter 5 and verse 10. He that believes on the Son of Yahweh has to witness in himself. He that believes not Yahweh has made him a liar, because he believes not the record that Yahweh gave of his Son. Because Yahweh's Son is the mediator of the renewing of the covenant. He is the one appointed Yahweh to give us access to Yahweh. So you must approach Yahweh in his name. That your prayers and supplications and your intercession may be accepted and received by Yahweh. That's why Yeshua instructed us that he that believed on him. As the scripture has said. He that believed on Jesus Christ. As the scripture has said. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So you must approach Yahweh boldly in Jesus Christ's name. Meaning you must approach Yahweh with your prayers in his name. In the name of his son. Yeshua HaMashiach that your prayers may be received. And you may receive an answer even to be filled with the blessed baptism of the Holy Ghost. So fam, let's boldly, without fear, without doubting, approach Yahweh in faithful, fervent, and unceasing prayer that we may receive favor and help in the time of need. For in these hard times, and the hard times to come, you must present your prayers in the name of Yahweh's Son, Yeshua HaMashiach. So let us continue to pray for one another. Let's pray for ourselves that we may grow closer and closer unto our Yahweh, even to be one with Yahweh. Continue to stand firm in the word of Yahweh. For the word of Yahweh is our source of strength, of power, of wisdom, of mercy, and uncommon favor. For in order for us to receive salvation, we must abide in the word of Yahweh. O Yahweh, in the name of your beloved Son, Yeshua HaMashiach, I thank you for another opportunity to speak forth your word of truth. Thank you for another Shabbat you allowed your servant to see. Thank you for the family of, uh, uh, of the kingdom of Shami'in. I thank you for granting your servant the wisdom and the unction to deliver your set apart word and testimony. I beseech you that you draw chosen souls to both hear and receive your word. Pricking their heart unto repentance, unto life. Those who are not chosen, but those who have deemed themselves unworthy of life eternal. You allow this same word, O Yahweh, to grant them a witness of damnation against their own souls, O Yahweh. Continue to grant us your favor, your shalom, your healing mercies, and your protection. From every evil work and work of darkness. Continue to rain down upon our enemies. 
even my enemies located here in Perthen County and Rockford, North Carolina, North Carolina, your grievous, your great and incurable and unceasing plagues, curses, terrors, and judgments till they are destroyed, every one of them, O Yahweh. Continue to fight against our enemies, O Yahweh. Even fulfilling the judgment that you have decreed upon the United States of America. Ascribing and avenging all the blood of the children of Israel at the hands of the United States of America. You rain down judgment upon her, O Yahweh. You continue to rain down judgment upon our enemies, O Yahweh. Rain down judgment upon my enemies here in Roxburgh, North Carolina, and Person County. Sending into them, sending into them and upon them, your great, your grievous, your incurable, your unrestrained, your immeasurable and incurable plagues, fury, and curses till they are destroyed. You let our enemies be exposed before all their reps and shamaim. You fight against them. And let your people be exalted in their midst, O Yahweh. I thank you, O Yahweh, for your strength, for your boldness, for your courage. I thank you for your beloved son who sacrificed himself on that cross that we may have access to you, O Yahweh. I thank you, O Yahweh. I praise you. I glorify you. So be it. So be it. Remember, family, please show your support by sending a donation to either my Cash App or PayPal. <coughs> As you are able and enabled of our Yahweh, please send a donation, whether a monetary donation or a, a care package. My address is in the description along with my PayPal, my legal name. Uh, my cash app and my address where you want to send, send a monetary donation by MoneyGram or Western Union. As your able family, as Yahweh has supplied you with the resources to give, give it voluntarily. Without grudging and without compulsion, but give it cheerfully. May Yahweh bless you on the Shabbat Eve and the incoming Shabbat day. And may Yahweh bless all those that will receive and hear this word. May Yahweh bless all those that will give cheerfully without grudging or compulsion. Love you all, family. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom.